is Pete from FMI Enterprises. I'm an auto dealer here in Southern California. Today I have a 2008 Lexus Hybrid uh, RX 400H. Car is in nice condition all around. The paint is black and in good shape. It's not brand new. It's not perfect. It's an all-wheel drive model. California car, one owner car, clear Carfax. Um, shows zero accidents on the Carfax, which I have in my hand right here. Um, it's in nice condition all around. The tail lights look good. Logo. Uh, it's got Michelin tires. Tires have some decent tread left. Probably about 60%, 60, 70, maybe more. I don't know. So about 70 to be safe. Got a good set of tires. Um, factory wheels. Paint is original paint. It's got some some tiny little rock nicks on the front end, like you'd expect to see um, on any car that is 12 years old. The car has 205,000 miles. Um, so you know it's been on the freeway, guaranteed. But overall, the paint looks the paint looks good. I mean, it's obviously not brand new, but um, walking around doing a condition report. If I'm looking at it, you'll see some some tiny little rock chip, chips on the hood real small stuff um, you know you don't see it from five feet away it all disappears but um, there's some rock chips there on the front bumper there's some chips on the front bumper grill is in nice condition headlights look good no cracks um, right front fender looks clean the right side door looks good there's a, a small little door ding right there um, I think there's one other small door ding somewhere. I'm going to look for it. Um, a tiny one right there. So black shows everything, as we all know. But um, overall, it's a clean-looking clean looking car. Um, right side looks pretty good. Um, the rear bumper cover, it's got a couple little, little marks on it, probably from in the garage and whatnot. Small little mark there, but nothing major. Um, the rear deck lid hatch looks good. The tail lenses look excellent. No cracks in the tail lenses. You can see Lexus of Glendale was the um, the uh, dealership it was purchased from. As you can see, it has a U-Haul tow hitch on it. It's an all-wheel drive model. Left rear quarter looks good. Um, the driver's side passenger uh, rear door looks good. There's a little, small little scratch on it right there. The driver's door looks good. The left front fender looks good. And that's pretty much it. Got a nice big sunroof up top. It's got the factory roof rack. The top of the uh, the wing back here is faded. For some reason I'm just on the top of that wing but I mean overall the paint looks good the body is in good shape um, I'd say it's probably about an 8 out of a 10 condition wise if I'm being picky but I mean for a driver it's not bad another tiny little door ding right there um, I mean really it's a sharp looking car so uh, moving on to the interior interior looks good it's clean, non-smoker car, one owner of course. No rips or tears in the seats. The leather is nice and soft. It's got the um, all the options pretty much. I don't think they came with much more. Power seats all work. <coughs> it's got the lumbar which works. <coughs> Carpet's in nice shape. Uh, factory floor mats look good. There's no holes in the carpet. I've got some photos of the carpeting. Comes with two keys. Uh, the keyless entry works, the alarm and whatnot, keyless entry works good. I'll, I can just start it up right now, why not? So she starts right up, no check engine lights. I've driven this car a lot um, all around. I've driven it to LA and back. I've got no check engine lights. Um, really drives nice. Air, air conditioning blows cold. You can see the center console is in good shape. The uh, navigation works, uh, the climate control, AC blows nice and cold, no problems. Center console, all the wood trim looks looks good, not cracked or anything. Cup holder, it's in good shape. 
uh, center door here looks good. It operates like it should. Shifter looks good. Uh, dual heated seats, of course, and they work. Turn that off. Radio. Premium auto audio sounds very nice. Um, headliners in very nice condition. Visors look good. You can see the, the vanity lights work on the mirror. Passenger side, same thing. Vanity lights work. It's in good shape. The rear seating area looks excellent. Pretty much looks brand new. Um, it's got the uh, compass on the uh, rear view mirror. What else? You've got uh, tilt and telescopic steering wheel controls here, which all works good. Steering wheel's in good shape. The glass uh, or, you know, the wood wood trim is not cracked or anything. Um, it's a nice shape. It's got cruise control. You've got a remote um, door, gas door here. You've got your mirror controls. And uh, it's got the rear power door here. But for some reason, it's not working. I haven't looked into it. But it does have that capability. I don't know if it's a fuse out or what it is, but um, not, a, not a big deal to open it manually. Um, dash looks excellent. No cracks. Door panels are clean. You see the leather looks very nice. Of course, these cars are very well built, and they, they're built to last, which they do. Um, it's got uh, dual memory seats, positions. What else? Um, rear seating area looks excellent. It's got the little armrest here for the passengers in the rear. The cup holder looks brand new, like it was never used. The back, this one looks excellent. And uh, no child seats in the back or anything like that. There's no marks or anything. These look like brand new seats. Um, carpeting in the rear looks excellent. You can see no, no rips or tears in the carpet. Back of the seats look excellent. Door panels in the rear look very nice. The uh, trunk area looks very good, the carpeting. It's got the jack, the tire iron, first aid kit, as well as a little tool kit back there. It's got the little tow hitch. And um, looks like an extra antenna or something. I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's got all the stuff back there. And like I said, you, normally you're supposed to hit this and it goes down automatically. I don't know why it's not working, but uh, it's pretty easy just to close it manually. So let's take a ride. So I've got the air conditioning on right now. It's blowing nice and cold. I'm gonna close the sunroof. Sunroof works great. No issues with the sunroof. And uh, like I said, I've been driving this car around and uh, it, it really drives nice. I mean, it, it's got some miles on it, obviously. 205,000, but um, you know, it, it it runs great it drives great the hybrid system works perfectly no issues with it steer straight drive straight uh, I've had it looked over at the mechanic safety inspected and uh, on the uh, Carfax here there's quite a few uh, dealer service records the guy that owned it was bringing it to um, the um, was bringing it to the dealer, Lexus of Cerritos, maintenance inspection, 20,000 mile, Lexus of Cerrito, 25,000. So like through the whole entire life of this car, he's been bringing it to Lexus of Cerritos, um, you know, just all kinds of service records here. It does have a damage report, which is not an accident. It, it could be anything that was reported to the uh, insurance company. Um, I, I think the car has all original paint, um, so I don't think I definitely don't I don't think the car has been in an accident. It's looks looks good. 
um, but uh, it does have a damage report, which is not the same. This is not all damage. It's caused by an accident. Um, so anyway, the car's clean underneath and everything. Uh, right here, 2018, it says brakes replaced. So it's got uh, got newer brakes, and that was at 157. So but anyway, the brakes are in good condition. Um, it's got a clear title. It's a lot of car for the for the money that um, you know that you're getting here I mean the car to get something like this with this level of luxury you know it's gonna cost you 80 grand something like that I would imagine maybe more I don't know what a new Lexus costs right now but definitely it's a it's a very cushy car it's it's really comfortable to sit in um, very quiet it gets good gas mileage with the hybrid system um, Everything works except for that rear tailgate, uh, all the gauges, the hybrid system, the AC, the um, you know you have the whole entire system here. The navigation is touchscreen activated. Um, it's voice activated. You hit the button and you can you know it's it has voice recognition. The whole thing. So you know this is a nice little car. If you have any questions more than you know what I've laid out there, give me a call. And uh, that is all. Thank you.